Energy consumption is a critical feature for many modern electronics products, including IoT and battery powered devices. However, measuring and optimizing energy consumption has historically been expensive or tedious. JoulScope is a new affordable instrument that gives you precise insight into energy consumption. JoulScope measures current and voltage and then computes power and energy for you. For this demo, I'm going to measure the current and energy consumption of an Arduino Pro Mini. JoulScope connects to your target device and whatever you normally use as your power supply. I have a bench supply set to 3.3 volts. JoulScope also connects to your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer over USB. You can download and install the latest open source software at JoulScope.com. When you first run the software, it displays the multimeter view, which shows the average current, voltage, power, and energy. It also displays statistics including the standard deviation, minimum, maximum, and peak to peak. The energy display also shows charge both in coulombs and amp hours along with the integration duration for both energy and charge. It defaults to a 2 Hz update rate, but you can configure it from 1 Hz to 100 Hz. You can also accumulate statistics for as long as you want, which can be useful for measuring long-term average current or voltage. When I press the button on the Arduino, it wakes, blinks an LED, then goes back to sleep. JoulScope has an amazing dynamic current range spanning 9 orders of magnitude from 10 amps down to nano amps. It can accurately and automatically measure both sleep mode current and active mode current. Your standard multimeter can't do that. JoulScope has a 20 millivolt burden voltage and amazingly fast auto ranging so that your device runs correctly without any hassle. The oscilloscope view displays the waveform over time. Let's press the Arduino button again to capture the waveform. The LED blinking is now very apparent in the current waveform. We also have the voltage waveform, which is mostly constant. Let's pause the capture so we can take a closer look. I can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom out and then zoom in on the location of interest. I can also click and drag to pan the waveform. We see the current waveform and voltage waveform, but we can also add other waveforms, the power, current range, and then the two GPIO inputs. In this case, the only interesting waveform is the current, so I'm just going to take a closer look at that. We can zoom in and see the active current. We can place right-click and place a single marker annotation to see that it's taking 7.4 milliamps. We can also look at an inactive point to see that it's using 3.76 milliamps when the LED is off. The single marker displays statistics of mean, standard deviation, min, max, and peak to peak, just like the multimeter view. We also see the statistics displayed over the full window that's observed here, and it also includes our integration in amp hours. I can remove the marker and add in dual markers. Dual markers allow us to view regions of time, and they also have integration, just like the integration over the full window, so we can measure how much charge or energy was consumed over that duration. The dual markers also allow us to do additional analysis. If I right click and, and select analysis, we have a few tools at our disposal. Let's take a look at the histogram tool. This shows us how much time was spent in each of these bins, and we have a bimodal distribution with the LED on and off. We can also use the CCDF tool, which is another way of seeing how much time is spent in each current mode. We can export data, which is saved to a file for later analysis. We can also record data while we're streaming, and that data can be recorded for hours or even days that can be uh, loaded later into the software. Let's remove these dual markers and take a look at one of the shorter pulses. JoulScope samples at 2 mega samples per second with a 250 kilohertz bandwidth, which gives you great visibility into brief events. You can also downsample to make longer recordings without filling your computer storage. Downsampling allows you to select the sampling frequency used for your JoulScope data. The preferences contain some other settings. Under the general settings, things about where you store files, the units, whether you want amp hours or coulombs, your device settings, which we've already looked at the reduction frequency and sampling frequency, our external I.O. settings, which I'll take a closer look at in a moment, our current ranging settings, and some of our widgets, the multimeter, single value, waveform, which has some configurable options. Dual scopes are great for performing USB pre-compliance inrush and suspend current testing. If we change the current range from off to 10 amps, we capture the inrush event. 
we can add dual markers around that event and select at least 100 milliseconds per the USB spec. We can then right click, run analysis, and as long as you're on Windows and have the USB electrical test installed, you can directly integrate with that test to see whether your inrush current passes or fails. In this case, our device passes. The GPIO widget allows you to manually control the two general purpose outputs. We can also display the two general purpose input waveforms. The single value widget displays a quantity of interest like the multimeter display, but for only one value. The software always accumulates the charge and energy, and you can reset at any time. Joolscope is customizable. Joolscope features a swappable front panel. The front panel design is open source and can be modified to fit your application. Joolscope is fully scriptable using Python for no additional cost. It's easy to integrate Joolscope into your automated test system. Check out the examples, documentation, forum, and Joolscope website for more information. Joolscope retails at $7.99. ISO 1725 NIST traceable calibrations are also available. Purchase your Joolscope today so that you can create better, more energy efficient products.